Hi, my name is Lori Berry. I'm the registered nurse and family educator with Helping Services for Youth and Families. I work in the family education and support program of delivering home visits uh, using the parents as teachers uh, curriculum. We do the two visits a month. Obviously right now we're not in the homes due to the COVID. So this is why we decided we would try and bring some activity um, information to you via the internet. I wanna kind of focus on tummy time. Tummy time is important for a couple of reasons. It again builds the muscles in their neck and arms and upper torso, like the chest, the belly and the back and, and the legs too. That will help them to learn to roll from side to side and then to eventually roll over and to do the army crawl and crawling and then sitting up and so forth as they get older. And the other thing that tummy time does, it helps maintain that nice, pretty round head shape that they're born with. So, and I'm sure you've heard this plenty of times, but it is back to sleep and tummy to play. And that's why tummy is important. So again, tummy time is important to build those muscles. And oh, I wanted to show you, this is the handout that comes with parents as teachers and that provides us the information that we can leave with you during our home visits with you. And the other thing I wanted to talk about is play is learning. So every time you play with your child, your baby, sing to your baby, read to your baby, baby is learning, always learning. Um, play is good for the brain no matter what, and it's even better when you join in and play with them. So it helps in the social, emotional, the physical, like the motor skills, cognitive and language domains. It, that's what play does. We want to um, make learning fun and then they don't even realize they're learning, but they're learning from repeated repetition experiences and activities. So again, this is a sheet that is given to you from the parents as teachers that goes through and explains a little more in detail of what I just shared with you. The other thing that I'm going to be um, focusing on is what your baby sees. Newborns, they're so used to everything being dark. And so when you flip on a light in the room, they give you this you know, startled look because they're very light sensitive. So their eyes are fully developed when they're born, but they continue to mature through age three. So let's break that down, shall we? So I want you to know by three months, they're starting to see some color and it's not quite as dark anymore. Okay, so they're starting to focus on things. And at six months, this is what they see. They're seeing more color and they're starting to learn the depth per perception and um, their color vision is getting better. By age two, their vision is like a 2020 to a 2030 vision. And it isn't until it's like age three that their eyes are mature enough that they actually see like you and I do. So a lot has to happen during those first three years of their life as far as their vision goes.